Welcome back, Carol. Did you have a nice Easter? Thank you. I had a great Easter. Had a fantastic time. Went up north, went up Manchester, went to a few parties. First of all, I went for uh, Marie's birthday. That's Mark's mum. So, happy birthday, yeah, Marie. Yeah, happy birthday. Again. Happy birthday. Um, and then, um, after we went out for dinner with Marie, we went to Trisha Penrose's surprise 40th birthday party. Ah. Where I discovered I've got... I can sing. Oh, no. Do you mean? <laughs> no, you can't. I, I can. I can. I tell you, I went up there. Zoe, uh, Zoe Tyler was there. And uh, she dragged me up on stage, come on, come and sing a song with me. So I'm like, well, it's, you know, it's Zoe. She wouldn't ask me if she didn't think I could do it. So I got up there and we sang um, You Make Me Feel Like a Natural Woman. Oh. And when we, when we got off the stage, I was walking through, like, on all Sorry, the Sorry, she was singing. What bit were you doing? Uh, do what? <laughs> no, 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 and I was singing properly, properly oh, at the no. end. I was singing it properly. When we come off the stage, people were coming up to me and going, Oh, I didn't know you could sing. And how much yeah, of they had to drink? Was hugely <laughs> drunk in the party, yeah. I heard. No, no, not that drunk, because actually I texted Zoe the next day and I went, Did I imagine that or did I come up and sing on stage with you? She said, Yes, you did, and in tune. I couldn't believe it. So I'm a singer now. <laughs> Seconds later, where were you, where were you found asleep? Well, um, I, there, it was a very, very loud party. It was a very large hall, and it was a very loud party. So there was... Um, um, I was sat down with Mark and, and his brother Paul, and they were trying to talk, and they couldn't talk because the music was too loud. But they also couldn't move because I had fallen <laughs> asleep on Mark's lap, balanced between two chairs, in front of this giant, massive subwoofer speaker, which was going <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Oh, and I'm just lying there like that. <laughs> fast asleep at the party. Nice so oh. their ears were ringing the next day. Mine were fine. Huh? No so danger. So tour? <laughs> what, my singing tour? Yeah. Uh, no, I'm open to offers. Oh. Me and Zoe on a double act. Right, there you I go. can't, honestly. Okay. You, you wait. Yeah, cool, I'll then. prove it. No, not, no, no, not now. Mm -hmm. No, I can't now because I've got yep. a hangover. We'll just not a drink. <laughs> <laughs> OK, now, for the first time in its 62-year history, the rules of Scrabble are set to change to allow the names of celebrities, companies and places to be spelt out on the board. Since its creation, the use of proper nouns has been banned, but the game's owners are now lifting this restriction as a new twist on the old formula hoping a new generation will soon be scrabbling for the game but uh, ladies when it comes to a board game what, what, what does it bring it out what does it bring out in you do you like a good board boredom game? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, no seriously I think because when I was younger that's all we did we just played board games all the time you know, just all the time as a family. You know, I suppose that's quite a nice thing to do, isn't it? Rather than just sit around getting drunk all the time like I do now. Oh, watching the telly. <laughs> oh, watching the telly, exactly. So it was a good family thing, but now... Oh, I don't know. They just take so long, don't they? Well, well, some they take forever, don't they? I mean, I, I must admit, my ex was just mad about board games but he always he was so competitive he had to win at every single board game i mean mm. monopoly which is the most boring game in the world he had to get on what is it park lane and what's the other one mayfair they mayfair the rich one and he had to get all the houses on them and then when i went to the he'd steal my money well i knew he'd steal because <laughs> i knew those there were lots you get lots of those green ones don't you sherry can and i, I just knew say he'd stolen my, it. my ex used to be the same so what i used but, to do well, yes. was, was when he wasn't looking i would just steal his money, steal money from the bank and just move all the houses around. It was great fun. I know, and also you get I'm 200 pounds past go and he used to say, I've got another 200 pounds. Well, we haven't gone past go yet. But the thing is also, my mother's partner used to play Cluedo with my ex and they used to get so... I mean, I thought one of them was going to kill because I was there and I knew that he got Professor Plum in the drawing room with that spanner. And I knew it because I saw it, but Kent swore that he hadn't got it and started... It was more or less a fist fight because of poor oh. Professor Blum. There's no point, really, in playing with people who are too competitive. No. Like, I used to play with my niece when she was, like, eight, and she would get really cross if she didn't win, and my sister would go, oh, let her win, let her win. I'm like, no way. No. <laughs> no, she's yeah. got to learn that yes. she can't oh. just win. Yeah, but she thing. was four. <laughs> she was <laughs> I suppose. We, we I used to like the little the little quickies, <laughs> she says. I used to like the, um, you know, like, like little Ludo and little snakes and ladders and that. But yeah. monopoly, honestly, my worst thing is when I've been working and I've come in and my glass of rosé is just calling for me and it's got my name on it and Louis goes, Mummy, please come and play Monopoly. I'd rather give myself a lethal injection <laughs> than no, do it. I mean, and, and, and Scrabble. And also with terrible. Tim, Tim is also so competitive and 
the, we, we did Mr. We did Mr. And Mrs. And it was and it was actually on the, on the other night. What we thought we'd do is a practice so that we'd get the hang of it. I bought you the, mean, the. You mean the one that was on the telly? The one that was on the telly. But we bought the board game of Mr. and Mrs. And we'd be doing this thing, and he'd be going, "You see, I've tricked you." And I went, "You're missing the whole point of the game. We're supposed to get the same answers like this. Ha ha! I've tricked her, which is just totally ridiculous." <laughs> I mean, I, I love Jenga. You know the one where you, you stack up all the bits of wood. Oh, I, like, yeah. I love I that. that do you no, like I that one? Do you like that one where you put that elephant mask on? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, am I in the wrong zone here? <laughs> No, it's not a fetish club. No. <laughs> you put this elephant mask on, and you have to donut us, and you have to hook the hook the. <laughs> Yeah, you have to put like, a, like an elephant mask on and then you hook yes, the hoops and, and then you put the hoop. And you, you know what I'm talking about. You can about. do it with ducks. There's a one with a duck, isn't there? No, it's a different game. That's in the fair with the ducks. That's not oh. the scooping with the duck. It's not a board game. And also, the other one's like scruples. You end up getting a divorce. They're and there's a stripper one you can do as well, but that's embarrassing. Oh, I like the ones where you, where you draw or use Play-Doh or, you, you know, you can do all the little things to, to make people guess what they are. I well, quite I must like come them. round yours of a Friday. Oh, the night fly-by! <laughs> <laughs> We're taking a break. <laughs>